Welcome again to Chibuzo Math Physics and uh, today I want to take you through uh, re-analysis. Uh, re-analysis is a part of pure mathematics. Uh, I found myself uh, uh, in love with pure math uh, more than applied mathematics. Uh, why we started from applied mathematics uh, is because, you know, as a kid, you, 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 you start from the soft things before you are able to eat the hard ones. So pure mathematics, uh, uh, here you don't even need your calculator, you don't even need to, um, uh, to, to solve anything. You only need to prove some concept. So pure mathematics is about reason, it is all about uh, logic, it is about what can I do and uh, how can I do it? So you are able to uh, to use your reason. You are able to uh, to use logic, and uh, you, you you find out how did we get this concept. Uh, I decided to make this video physically uh, in order to explain how this thing come about. Otherwise, I should have used the other way uh, in which I can use software to, to teach this unit. But uh, I want to take you through this. Uh, pure mathematics and uh, we will be proving some, some formula. So the question here is saying that we prove that A union uh, B intersection C is equal to A union B intersection A uh, union C. This is what we do in pure mathematics. Uh, you remember when you are doing foundations of math, you were given something like this in set and uh, you know what it is union, you know what is intersection, uh, you know that we have some empty set, uh, you also know when you are supposed to uh, find a set that is not uh, a member of the other one. So those are the things we now need to prove how do we get this concept. Uh, but before I take you through that, I would like to explain some certain symbols uh, to you. Uh, in pure mathematics, we'll be using some uh, new terminologies that you might be used to, uh, maybe you don't actually recognize that they are that. So I would like to uh, take you through, you see, when we talk about equal sign, we already know what is equal sign. You also know what is uh, less than, you know what is greater than, you also know what is less than equal to, uh, greater than equal to. These are the, uh, the basic symbols in mathematics. Uh, that we know because now I cannot start writing uh, less than equal to like we are doing English. This is the mathematical class. Uh, but now we want to go beyond equal to. We want to be using uh, a different language uh, which we are going to call this. Uh, this is uh, if and only if. Uh, of course, some people write it this way. This means if and only if. So these are some terminologies that we'll be using. Uh, we'll be using something like this. This means uh, it implies. This implies. So I will be using this implied if and only if to prove such things. We also use this symbol. This means it is a member or it belongs to. So it is good you get used to these symbols and this mathematical uh, way of uh, calling some symbols. As, uh, it will help us as we try to prove that A union B intersection C is equal to A union B intersection A union C. So uh, this inverted, this U here simply means it is inverted, it means union. And this inverted, when it is this way, it means intersection. I think we are together at any point in time. You can pause the video, try to uh, to do it yourself, follow it yourself, uh, because mathematics is all about concept. It is all about practice. Uh, you practice, you practice, and you practice. I remember those days in the high school. I was told, you see, uh, you practice makes perfect, but there is another way to rephrase it. Practice make permanent. That one might shock you, but let's proceed. Okay, so here we have A union B. The first thing we need to do here is to show how this, uh, when you are given this type of question, what you are simply expected to do is to show that A union 
uh, A union B intersection C. Instead of equal sign, we are going to use another symbol. It is contained in A union B intersection A union C. So this is exactly what we are expected to do. We are expected to prove that A union B intersection C is contained in A union B intersection A union C. That is what we are expected to do. So now, we are going to prove that this is contained. This simply means contained. This symbol, this is a mathematical symbol, which means contained. Now, if this is contained in this, and this is contained in this, how can we prove that this is equal to this? We are going to introduce an arbitrary element, uh, x. You can use y, you can use any number of the set to help us prove this. So we can relate x to be an arbitrary element. Arbitrary element of the set. Now, if we let x to be an arbitrary element of the set, what we simply mean is that x is a member of this set, A union B intersection C. Remember, we have this element is equal to this. And we are going to show that this is equal to this. So we start with this first element. So if X is a member of A, union B intersection C, it simply means that X is a member of A. Or we can say that X is a member of B intersection C. I don't know if you are following. This is the way we do it. Uh, in pure mathematics, you don't need your calculator. You simply need to go uh, systematically try to follow the sequence, and then you are good to go. So if X is a member of A, or X is a member of B intersection C, this simply means that X is a member of A, or we can say that X is a member of B, which automatically means that X is also a member of C. So this implies that X is a member of A union B or X is a member of A union C. Why? Because we know that X is a member of A union B intersection C. So it means that X is a member of A or X is a member of B intersection C, which we have in our first variable. So if X is a member of B intersection C, it means that X is a member of A or X is a member of B, which also means that X is a member of A union B or X is a member of A union C, because we have C here. So therefore, we can say that this element A, we can say that X is a member of A union B intersection A union C. This is pure mathematics. Eh? We are trying to prove from the left hand side to show that it is equal to the right hand side. From here we have A union B intersection A union C to be equal to A union B intersection C. And we have shown from here 
that X is a member of A union B or X is a member of A union C, since X is a member of A or X is a member of B. And remember, if X is a member of B intersection C, it means that X is a member of A union C because we have A and B. So X is also a member of A union B or A union C, which means that it is a member of A union B intersection A union C. Now, conversely, Conversely means to the os to the opposite. Uh, we are going to prove that A union B intersection A union C is equals to A union B intersection C. So we introduce an arbitrary element X such that X is a member of a union B intersection A union C. What this implies is that X is a member of A union B, or we can say that X is a member of A union C. I hope you are following. X is a member of A union B intersection A union C, meaning that X is a member of A union B or X is a member of A union C. This simply means that if X is a member of A union B, it simply means that X is also a member of A. It also means that X is also a member of B which means that A is a member of C. Now, what you have here simply show you, we can say it implies, it implies that A is a member of A union B intersection C. Why? Because X is a member of A union B and uh, it is intersection to A union C. So if X is a member of A union C, it means that X is a member of C. And if X is a member of C, it means that since X is a member of B, X is also a member of B intersection C. So therefore, X is a member of A union B intersection C. And this can be our equation 2, and this can be our equation 1. If this is our equation 1, and this is our equation 2, what will be our conclusion? Our conclusion will therefore be that since X is a member of A union B or X is a member of A union C, it simply means that X is a member of uh, A union B intersection C, which is contained in a union B intersection A union C, which therefore implies that A union B intersection C is equal to A union B intersection A union C, which is what we have here. And that is how we prove a concept. That is how we prove a concept. Uh, it could be a bit confusing, but uh, this is what we call the distributive property. It is the, we have the commutative and we have the distributive. Uh, the commutative will simply be when you have uh, uh, something like uh, 
A intersection B uh, is equal to B intersection C. This is a simple one which is commutative. But what we have done here is the distributive property. Distributive property. So you prove how we get the distributive property. You can see A is distributed. So there is a distribution that is going on on how to show that if X is a member of this, it is also a member of that. I hope you have liked the video. Keep watching my videos. I have so many videos on the introduction of the reanalysis. I also did some proving on the uh, commutative properties. And here is the distributive properties. I hope you enjoy it. Let mathematics be fun for you. I like pure mathematics because no much calculation on this. You are able to just follow by logic. You just think, and when you are on this side, you already know what am I looking for? What do I want to arrive at? Otherwise, I remain your friend, uh, Galagash. Subscribe to my channel and share the video, and God bless you in the academic uh, pursuit. This is chipzomathematics.com. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and all other social media. Even uh, uh, you can test, write a comment below and let me follow on whatever you might uh, like to ask, but then let your comment be professional. Thank you and God bless you.